This question is about finding roots to equations and iteration. We are given our function and we are told this is our function here and we are asked to show that uh, show that the equation f of x is 0 can be written in the following form. So let's go straight ahead and do that. Okay, f of x is equal to 0. So we would have that x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x subtract 12 is equal to 0. Now just looking at what we need to get to here, we need to get to a point where we have this on the other side. So we would need a 3 plus x on the other side. So the first thing I would do is I would uh, firstly subtract 4x from both sides and add 12. So you would get 12 subtract 4x there. Now, the reason that's handy is because if I factorise this, factorise out a factor of 4, I get that, which is my first line on the top, and I know I'm on the right tracks. Now I need to divide by 3 plus x. Well, how could I do that? Well, if I factorise out an x squared, I would get the following. And so if I divide both sides by this, I have 4, 3 subtract x, and I could write x plus 3 as 3 plus x, the way they want it, as follows. And therefore, x is equal to 4, 3 subtract x, over 3 plus x, and all of that square rooted. And the key thing is they tell us x can't be equal to 3 because uh, negative 3 because if it was, the bottom would be 0 and you can't divide by 0. Simple as that. It then tells us this equation has a single root between 1 and 2. And it says use the iterative formula, the following, with x0 is 1 to find to two decimal places the value of x1, x2 and x3. So, firstly, this is how you do that. You use a calculator and you type in your calculator... The following. This is what I'm going to, you're going to type 1, that's your first guess, equals. Then you're going to type in your calculator the square root of um, 4, 3 subtract aunts divided by 3 plus aunts. And you're going to press equals once to get x1. You're going to press equals again to get x2, and one more time to get x3. And it's a symbol to work it out like that. So x0 turns out to be 1. x1 turns out to be 1.41. x2 turns out to be 1.20. And x3, that turns out to be equal to... Um, 1.31 1.31 easy, easy, easy three marks you cannot afford to lose them round to 2dp as well some people just wrote root 2 here not sufficient it asks to 2dp and some people wrote several longer answers than that it's not sufficient and lastly, it says, choose a suitable interval to prove that alpha is 1.272 is the root correct to 3dp. So you are dealing with alpha is 1.272. What you are going to do, to, you're going to use its upper bound. You're going to add on 0 0.0005. And you're going to check 1.2725. And you're going to find its lower bound by subtracting 0 0.0005, which is... 1.2715. If you're not very good with your decimals, which you, you should be, just make sure you use the calculator there. And what you do is you work out f of 1.2715, and by f I mean substituting it in here. Again, use your calculator to do that for you without having to substitute, and you get yourself um, negative. 0.00821 or some of your calculators say 8 point, negative 8.21 times 10 to the minus 3. Make sure you write it in standard form. You don't just write negative 8.21 because it is actually a decimal. Then f of 1.2725 and you get yourself at 0.00827 or appropriately in standard form. You, there, you must state therefore a change of sign 
You must also state that f is continuous. Therefore, alpha is the root. Correct to three decimal places. Two, three, d, p. And you're done. And just to, just to make it very clear, you must get questions like that right in the exam. They are absolutely straightforward. You have to get these 100% right.